saving custom stitch settings on the Brilliant is very easy. If you prefer a longer or a shorter straight stitch, I'm going to move this longer, you can easily save this so that this becomes the new default setting when you select this stitch. So this key right here will save it to the quick set button. And now if I leave that particular stitch and then come back to it, the machine remembers my custom setting. If you should decide that you want to go back to the default setting, this key here restores the stitch to the default setting, and then you're going to touch the save key once more. And now when you go to a different stitch and then come back to that same straight stitch, it now remembers that it's back to the default setting. So you can really customize your stitches. The next key that we have here is the presser foot needle exchange key. When you select this key, it automatically puts the machine to sleep. So I can put my foot on the foot control, I can touch the needle up down button, or I can select any of these keys on screen and nothing will happen. This puts the machine to sleep so that I can very safely change the needles without having to worry about that needle moving up and down while my fingers are in the way. To deactivate this feature, touch the same key again and now you'll see that your screen is back to normal operation and you can touch the buttons or the foot control. Next we have the ability to save stitches to the memory of the machine. There are several different memory pockets built in and this is especially convenient if you're working with decorative stitches and creating sequences or working with letters. So let's choose a decorative stitch in the first category of stitches. So I'm going to select number 25. And when you're in the decorative stitches, it automatically puts you into what we call a sequencing mode. So here on screen now, I can see that cute little uh, stitch, but let's say I want to add another stitch now. All I have to do is touch it. And now on screen, I can see that I have the original candle wicking circle and a heart. To save this sequence, I can touch the pocket with the arrow moving into it, and then select a memory box to save it into. And now you can choose which memory space you would like to save your stitch into. You also have the ability to write over top of something that's already saved. So I've selected stitch memory number one, which already has something in it. I'm going to say okay, and it says okay to delete the selected pattern. Yes, that's okay and now it has saved that into the first memory pocket in the machine. Anytime that you want to access the stitches that you've saved into the memory of your machine, you can touch this key twice, and it's asking me okay to delete once more, and now I can see the stitch in my first memory pocket, say okay, and it brings it up for me.